Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here, and I'm here with the brand new BlackBerry Playbook. And I wanted to give you a quick little video tour of the OS because this is the first time we've actually seen the BlackBerry Tablet OS on an actual device. So, right now, we're at the home screen, and everything is nicely laid, laid out here. And so, you have all your open applications here, and you can slide through them just like this if you wanted to. Find an application you want to go to, just tap on it like that. And this brings us to our main gestures you're going to be using on the Playbook, and that is to swipe up. Now, I'll always bring you back to the home screen, no matter what application, and just swipe up. Now, and also, too, if you swipe down while in an application itself, it'll bring kind of the menu here for the uh, um, depending on what the application has set for it. So here I'm in the pictures app application here. And so I can kind of skim through some of the pictures here and kind of skip to the ones I wanted to. Now, if you actually at the main screen here and you swipe down, that'll bring you to the general settings for the device itself. So you can change the volume controls, the uh, the application behavior once you close them, all that good stuff. You have Bluetooth, all that stuff. So um, also, too, while you're in an application itself, so just like I showed you in this picture application, if I swipe down, that doesn't bring me that menu I just showed you, it's bringing me the application menu. But if I swipe in from the either one of these top corners here, it'll, it will give me some of the options to get to the uh, actual general settings there if I wanted to from there. And also, too, you can take a look at your battery life, change your Wi-Fi network, and also that it does have an orientation lock as well. Now, um, back to the multitasking here. Say you're done with that Photos application, you can hit this little X right there, or you can just swipe up just like that. And that will get rid of that application. And also, too, I'm going to go into this Need for Speed game that I got running here. And I'm going to join a game real quick for you to show you. And this Need for Speed game came actually preloaded on the playbook, which is very nice little addition there. So the game is running right there. And I'm going to swipe up. And you can tell I'm multitasking. I'm swiping through any other application. And the game is actually still running itself. And I can show you. I can still I can control the game here. I just jump right back into it. It's kind of weird to control it at this angle here. Do a little boost there to show you. And again, if I swipe up, I can still actually control the game while I'm, I'm multitasking. Now, that, that is really no, that doesn't, doesn't really make sense to do that, but I'm just showing that you can actually still do that here. Um, anyway, that's the multitasking. It's pretty smooth. It works pretty fast. All right, let me get rid of this. All right, bye-bye. All right, let's go into the browser real quick because this is a browser that can play Flash since it is based off of WebKit. And I'm um, going to go ahead and load up a video here. Let me load up my video here for my Beat Soldier Win channel. Going over new Gears of War 3 beta. So it should be able to run Flash. Look at that. Look at that. It's running Flash just fine. And it's loading there. <laughs> it doesn't normally do that. But anyway, you can tell that the video quality is right there. I can look at some of the comments here. Hey, what's up, everybody? And also, too, I can go full screen if I wanted to. And uh, so, yeah, no excuses, Apple, right? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Flash runs just fine on this. Now, I went to vocal.com, Ustream, and I'll, I'll actually watch some live streams. And um, and everything works just fine. Also, here you can see the multitasking. I'm just like that. Um, it's still playing, just like that. Just like that. And also, too, let me show you some of the multitasking. You saw this app switching here. If you, if you swipe to the left or to the right, it'll go to the next application that you actually have open. So that's really nice that you can do that. Because the, this little bezel right here is actually still touch sensitive as well. So it'll be able to notice when you swipe. So that's something else that is really nice. So overall, that's a little, quick little tour of the just the general things of the uh, BlackBerry Tablet OS. Here's the app world here if you want to download some applications. I ran into a couple bugs here when I first launched the device. The, the volume wasn't working. I opened up the browser. Flash wasn't working. Um, I tried to do a restart. Um, it froze on me for like 10 minutes, but I eventually just did a hard restart by holding down that little itty bitty power button. Um, and then ever since then, I haven't had any problems at all. So, but anyway, I'll start to test this thing a little bit more. I really dive a little bit deeper in my review. But anyway, you leave a comment down below about what you think about this device so far, guys. And thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.